We're working on customary measurements this or this last week, but now we're going to move on to the metric system. So if we look at our proficiency scale, still for MD1, we had customary length, capacity, and weight, and converting those measurements. Now we're going to come down here to the metric system. We're still going to be talking about length, we're still going to be talking about capacity, and we're still going to be talking about mass. We're also going to be converting some of those measurements. So if we look at our proficiency scale, um, at that level two, we still have to be able to do our basic processes such as multiplying and dividing. Um, we still have to recognize all of those vocabulary words such as some of the ones from the customary that we just finished would be like inches, feet, yards, miles, ounces, gallons, all of those. But now we're gonna start working with like meters, liters, kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, and so on. Okay, to be at a level three, we have to be able to do some con converting of the metric system measurements, but we also have to understand um, the relative size. So if I were going to want to relate a mile from the customary system, it would be more like a kilometer in the metric system. So always be referring back to our proficiency scale as we get going. So the cool thing, let I get to work with you today is I'm gonna tell you a story. And this story is kind of an exaggerated story, which means some of the information in it might be not true, but it's kind of a fun story. And obviously it's called the story of King Henry. So we're gonna read a little bit about King Henry together. So once upon a time in a far, far away land, there lived a king who loved chocolate milk. His name was King Henry. Throughout his kingdom, King Henry made sure that all of the cows were fed great supplies of chocolate to continue to provide him with his beloved chocolate milk drink. Now, we know that that's not how chocolate milk is actually made, but for this story, we're going to go with it. King Henry drank chocolate milk with his breakfast. He drank chocolate milk with his lunch. He drank chocolate milk with his dinner. He even drank chocolate milk for his bedtime snack. King Henry drank chocolate milk by the leaders. And if you look, that last word, leaders, that's our first word that comes from the metric system. And we'll get into that here in a sec. King Henry was so obsessed with his chocolate milk that he wrote a decree making it illegal for anyone to drink chocolate milk except for himself. King Henry's wife was so furious with his decision to create such a law, so she grabbed her kids to go stay with her mother. The guards were upset with the king too, so they left the castle to find a new king to take care of. Soon, King Henry was all done. <laughs> Sorry, soon King Henry was all alone, but he had his chocolate milk. Depressed, he drank more chocolate milk than ever, and one evening he overdosed on chocolate milk. His body couldn't process all of the chocolate. Sadly, King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. So if you notice that this little saying that we have down here, King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. Notice that the first letter of each of those words is kind of highlighted or put in a different color. Those are going to be our units of the metric system. That's going to help us here in a, in a sec. So here we go again. King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. With the metric system, we always start right here in the middle with the unit and then if we move this way to deca, centa, or milla, our units are getting smaller. And if we go this way, deca, hecto, and kilo, our units are getting larger. So however, the metric system remembers him every year when students learn math. His RIP statement is King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. This is how you remember the prefixes for the metric measurement and how to order the units from greatest to smallest. So again, if we look, kilo would be the largest unit all the way down here to milla, which would be the smallest unit. And we're going to practice converting some of those metric units of measurement. So this chart is a nice little sheet sheet for us. And we'll have this one loaded up on your notebook page so you can always refer back to it as well. So if we look up at the top, it says King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk again. And again, the K kilo, H hecto, D deca, the U means the unit, which we'll talk about that in a sec, 
D deca, C centa, M milla. Okay, so if we jump back here to the unusually part of our little acronym, it means the unit. So in the metric system, if we're talking about length, we would measure everything in meters. So like one meter or like one meter stick, similar to a yard. If we were measuring liquid volume or capacity, we would use liters in the metric system. So just like when it said King Henry liked to drink chocolate milk by the liter, this is what we were referring to. And then if we wanna measure mass or weight, we use grams in the metric system. So I can combine a few of these units like kilometer, kiloliter, or I could go down here. We've 